How many days can you live without gas removal? It's a question that might seem funny at first, but it's actually quite serious. Holding in gas for too long can have some surprising and even dangerous consequences. Well, get ready for some mind-blowing facts. The average person releases between 500 and 1,500 milliliters of gas daily from the bottom end. That's about half to one and a half liters of gas every single day. Imagine filling up a small soda bottle with gas. That's what your body is doing. That's right, we're talking about gas. Most of this gas is hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. These gases are produced naturally in your digestive system as your body breaks down food. But wait, there's more. Some people can produce up to 120 milliliters of methane daily. Methane is a gas that can be flammable and is often associated with the smell of flatulence. Now, let's dive into where all this gas comes from. It's not just from that burrito you had for lunch. These gases mostly come from swallowed air, intestinal reactions, and our gut bacteria. When you eat or drink, you swallow small amounts of air, which can accumulate in your digestive system. So how long can you hold it in? Only a few hours at most, folks. Holding in gas for too long can cause discomfort and bloating. Your body needs to release this gas to maintain a healthy digestive system. In dangerous situations, it might be a few days, but that's risky. Gas buildup can cause bloating, pain, and even life-threatening complications. In extreme cases, holding in gas can lead to a condition called diverticulitis, where small pouches in the colon become inflamed or infected. So remember, passing gas might be embarrassing, but it's no laughing matter. It's a natural and necessary part of your body's digestive process. So next time you feel the need to let one go, just remember, it's better out than in.